Good morning, everyone. This is Prith Banerjee. I'm CTO at ANSYS. I want to talk to you all about a topic which I'm very, very passionate about. A grand challenge, which is to enable high quality education for every STEM student on the planet using engineering simulation. This is a topic that has been co-developed by me and my colleague Dipankar Chaudhuri, ANSYS fellow. And uh, is the first time I'm going to talk about this particular topic. And before I begin, I wanted to kind of talk about my personal background. Before becoming CTO at ANSYS, I spent 20 years in academia as to be a professor at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. I was a department head at Northwestern. I was a dean of engineering at University of Illinois, Chicago. So the topic that I'm going to talk about is very close to my heart. Since then, I have worked in many, many companies. I was CTO at ABB, CTO at, at, at Schneider Electric, and now I have the unique opportunity to be CTO at ANSYS and speak to you about this topic. So the grand challenge, the formulation of the challenge is as follows, right? So when you look at STEM education, it has typically relied on lectures and experiments in laboratories, and the students had to physically attend a class at MIT or Stanford or Oxford or Cambridge, right, to get to listen to those fantastic professors and do the experiments and labs in those locations. Now, Grant Educa EduPack is an ex uh, exception. And uh, the other point I will note is that engineering simulation software typically has been used only at the graduate level. When you use a tool like ANSYS, ANSYS Fluent or ANSYS Mechanical, these tools are very advanced tools, and it requires a lot of knowledge to know exactly which settings to use in these tools. So therefore, it has not been quite prevalent for undergraduate education. However, we know that the world is changing. You look at digital transformation impacting every industry, automotive industry, aerospace industry, mining, oil and gas, everything. This is digital transformation is impacting education as well. And so, it is well known that there are these online learning platforms like edX, uh, Coursera, Udacity, Udemy, and so on. So a lot of fantastic content is now getting created online. So you really don't have to go to MIT or Cambridge to take the most advanced, the, the best course on Calculus 101 or Computer Science 101, right? The best course on Introduction to AI and Machine Learning by Andrew Ng is available on Coursera. So the question is, how can learning institutes, universities, right, better prepare their graduates for a workplace where sort of the engineering simulation is pervasive and they have access to all the latest content, right, both in lectures as well as in experiments. Now, this was sort of a dream for many academics many, many years ago, including when I was at the University of Illinois. However, because of COVID-19, universities and high schools have been forced to do embrace remote learning. So in the future, I don't think lectures will be completely online. What is going to happen is there's a, going to be a combination, a blend of brick and mortar classroom teaching along with online courses. And laboratory experiments will be essentially replaced with online simulation, right? And that's sort of the future. So the solution to this grand challenge problem is sort of simple tools like ANSYS Discovery, which will empower designers and students to create their concepts, test out different concepts, do design space exploration completely on the computer, and it will be as good as doing it live, right, in a, in a hardware experiment. And then these online courses with simulation on the cloud would allow these students anywhere in the world. You don't have to go to MIT. You don't have to go to, to Cambridge. Literally, you can be sitting in a really... Uh, uh, sort of in a village in India, and this student, if he is smart, will be able to take advantage of this coursework, right, and learn the latest content. Uh, and this is what is going to enable the future to train a million students in the world with high quality coursework and high quality simulation. That is the vision. So before we jump in into the actual details, I want to provide a very quick overview of ANSYS, right? ANSYS provides detailed simulation capabilities in fluids, in structures, in electromagnetics, in semiconductors, and so on. And all of those are driven through the latest materials information platform available through Granta. And these solvers actually run on 
on-prem as well on the cloud on Microsoft Azure cloud. So this is what ANSYS does today. One of those uh, symbols on the right you see design space exploration is our discovery tool. Now these simulation tools are very, very accurate. They're very advanced. The trouble is you need to have a, almost like a PhD to know exactly what settings to use in our ANSYS fluids tool called Fluent or the electromagnetics tool called HFSS. This is where uh, we come to ANSYS discovery. So the, what you sh are seeing on the slide is essentially a tool that we have just developed for simulation for all engineers. It is showing essentially if you can do structural simulation, you can do fluid simulation, you can do electromagnetic simulation, leveraging the power of GPUs that you can see, for example, from from NVIDIA, right? And these GPUs have tremendous power and these GPUs are driving these simulations, right? From uh, fluid flow or structural mechanics and so on. And typically what happens is you, you enter these designs in a CAD tool, but then you go into simulation. What discovery allows the students to do is to, as soon as you're doing these design changes on the CAD tool, you can do instant in your simulation. This is the power of discovery. So now essentially you can have discovery now running on your laptop, but you need a high performance workstation to run this thing, right? So you need to have a computer with a GPU in it to run discovery. Where we are headed is we should have all of this software, all the ANSYS software, including discovery running on the cloud. So essentially the students sitting inside a, a, a classroom in say in India, right? In a remote village, all they have to have is access to the cloud, right? And then, Discovery and Fluent and HFSS, all of these th software will uh, run on the cloud. This is the future that we are working towards. Now, we need to step back and see what do students and employers really want, right? Essentially, when you look at, we, we have done some uh, some surveys of what some students are requiring and what employers are requiring. Students want to be successful in the job market, right? They want to get a job. They want to be successful in the job. And employers want these students coming out of the schools, high schools and, and undergraduate classes and graduate classes to be, to be really proficient in doing the job that they do. And there is a skill gap, right? Essentially, there's an inability of applying the theory that they learn in their college or high school in their actual practice uh, in industry. So, and whatever we learn, right, can we scale it and essentially make it accessible to everyone? This is the grand challenge that we are trying to solve. So essentially what we did is we have partnered with Cornell University to see, is there an appetite for online simulation? Is there an appetite for online courses? And the answer is yes. We have uh, worked with Professor Rajesh Bhaskaran, who is a Swanson professor at, uh, at Cornell University. And working with him, we have created a set of MOOCs, a, a massive online courses, right, where 175,000 students worldwide have taken these courses and they've been exposed to simulation, the art of simulation, right, using these courses. And essentially, we have done sort of contextual learning, just-in-time learning, and on-demand learning. And I encourage you to go to the website that is shown uh, on this to get more details. What, what have we done since this initial experiment with Cornell? We have been working in our ANSYS academic program on is, uh, and I point you to these two websites, the ansys.com slash forum, which is our ANSYS learning forum, and ansys.com slash courses, a set of innovation courses that we have created by partnering with the best industry experts. So the combination of the ANSYS learning forum and the innovation courses is what I want to sort of expose to all of you. So ANSYS innovation courses, what they do is, we take a, essentially take late high school undergraduate courses and graduate level courses and essentially these courses are complementing what is available in these colleges right essentially so we have people our experts industry experts who are experts in different industry in automotive in healthcare in aerospace and so on teaching these courses right so what's the fundamentals of fluid mechanics uh, fluid dynamics what's the fundamentals of structure right what's the fundamental thermal right these are industry expert experts teaching the students about what is the most relevant concepts and then tying that in with the use of simulation software to essentially introduce the students to the, the these concepts now in the past as you know in aerospace engineering right people had to go 
to a wind tunnel to do a testing of a of a wing shape right at 600 miles per hour whether that wing will lift or not right well it turns out with fluid simulation really accurate fluid simulation if you can model those navia stokes equations really really accurately if we say through simulation that this wing is going to fly it is going to fly right so you don't have to do a wind tunnel test this is the power of simulation right essentially what we are doing is through these courses we are exciting the students in the art of the possible right by the courses as well as uh, 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 powering them through simulation so what we have created is a set of ANSYS innovation courses in area of fluids in area of structures in electromagnetics electronics and so on right and essentially what you can do is i i, I encourage you to to look at ansys.com slash courses and essentially we have created a set of courses so uh, for example a course on dimensional analysis and similarity right these courses are organized by category you can essentially go in if you're interested in fluids courses electronics courses and so on right so to give you a, a, an idea right all of these courses and we have about 25 such courses now available on our ansys uh, innovation courses website right these courses all have the same flow and content right essentially it starts with the introduction it, it talks about the dimensionless parameters talks about what is going on and then complements the sim the courses with the simulation right the simulation tools available from ansys and these simulation is all available on the cloud so it's the courses are available on the cloud and the simulation on the cloud it's that integrated environment right which is providing this uh, thing in a truly consistent format so not only are we doing this work at ANSYS in the ANSYS innovation courses, we are also partnering with a set of universities. So here is a partnership with, with uh, University of North Carolina at Charlotte, right? With Professor uh, Catherine Smith, who is developing some electromagnetics core fundamental courses, right? And essentially working with her, we are creating this curriculum, right? At University of North Carolina, uh, Charlotte, to, to complement their online courses, right? With the use of simulation with uh, HFS assimilation. We have done a similar work with the University of Michigan. And essentially what we have done is we are partnered with uh, the Dean of Engineering, uh, Alice Gallimore at Michigan, who actually serves on our board. And essentially through his sponsorship, we have worked with sort of five professors at Michigan, right? Where we are creating five courses, introduction to heat transfer in mechanical engineering, introduction to engineering design, fundamentals of mechanics, design build fly with CAD -K, CAE introduction to additive manufacturing five courses these professors working with the graduate students creating these courses that are will be available online along with sort of the access to these the the, the our discovery live uh, software right uh, on the cloud that will be taught to all engineering students at Michigan as well as will be available to sort of STEM students around the world, right? This is the future we are working towards. So in summary, what we have, uh, what I kind of uh, breeze to you very quickly is the digital transformation of, of, of education, right? We all know that digital transformation is is uh, essentially engaging, impacting every industry, aerospace and defense and 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 automotive and manufacturing and oil and gas, it is impacting education. So the world is moving away from brick and mortar education where you have to go to University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign to take a class, right? Or to go to MIT or go to Cambridge or Oxford and so on. The world is transforming because of COVID-19, essentially people have been forced to use online courses, right? But what we are saying is you don't have to go to a lab to learn about easy contrast, right, concepts. If the simulation tools are as good as the reality, right, let these simulation tools be the replacement for the hardware labs, right? So the combination of online teaching and online simulation available on the cloud essentially will allow you to do simulation as a tool for virtual prototyping. This is what the vision of ANSYS academic program is. How can we train 10 million students on the planet without having physically having to go to any Cambridge or Oxford or MIT or Stanford or Illinois, right? Giving them access to the best education on the planet, right? Anywhere in the world. This could be students in India, students in China, in Taiwan, in Africa, anywhere in the world. This is the vision of the ANSYS academic team. The team that I want to recognize is Dipankar Chowdhury, Ravi Kumar, Susan Coleman, Jill Egenspiller, uh, Suti, and Mark Fry. 
Thank you very much for your time.